This video editor has a really interesting feature that you probably haven't seen before. Let me show you what I mean. I'll download and install for free and it opens up a window like this. Pretty straightforward. They have a lot of tutorials on their YouTube channels which will help you use this tool. Being someone who has years of video editing experience, let me see what I can do with this. I'm gonna drag and drop a few video clips there. You can drag them to a timeline and it allows you to set the frame rate and the resolution. I'll just match it to the media itself. And I'm actually gonna use this output in one of my videos. You can see it's really easy to move the video frame around. It's not that simple even in pro grade apps. You can easily resize it and crop it. All the settings are available on a single window. That is really great for beginners who may be unfamiliar with video editing tools. Let's see how easy it is to stack two clips and chroma key one of those. Yeah haha I used Microsoft Paint for animation because I wanted it to look kind of weird. Stop judging me okay. Resizing clips and cutting is super easy. You can easily drag the ends of the clip or you can use that scissor icon right there and I easily see a chroma key option on the right side. I'll enable it and select this background color. Boom. It's really that easy to edit green screen videos. You can see it has some settings for adjusting the edges of your chroma key mask and look how easy it is to crop. I wish Premiere Pro was this easy. You have to apply multiple effects this and that. You have to move around sliders. Here you can simply move a window and click OK. Boom. That's it. I'm telling you in many ways these beginner level editors are better for basic editing than pro editors and I mean those really expensive ones that we all use. If you're just editing for fun or getting started for social media this is more than enough and I love the way you can adjust the audio or the volume level of a clip you can just drag that line there if you want you can detach the audio or you can just drag that horizontal line down to mute that clip so easy I did that because I want to mute the audio of it because I have a separate music to play on the background and when I right click I notice an option called silence detection I wonder what it does oh it recognizes silences in the clip you're about to add and automatically cuts those that's crazy that's really good and that is the feature I was talking about which is missing in even super expensive editors it'll save you so much time when you're editing a roll clips usually when you're editing you do multiple passes the first pass is when you edit the a roll to remove all the errors and the spaces and on the second pass you add the b roll and background effects and all that this will make your first pass go so much faster that's nice so after playing around with the audio adjusting the levels and everything I have this And you may have already seen it in one of my previous videos. Now in terms of color adjustments, it doesn't have that many features as I'm used to. It just has the basics, you know, brightness, contrast, saturation. But again, it's good enough to get started. I used to edit all my videos on my phone and the editor on my phone had similar settings. Let's see what I have here to export. I'm just gonna select a location and uh, let me click on settings. Okay, high quality, small size. What about custom? Oh wow, you really can control everything here. So resolution, I'll force it to 1920 by 1080. Frame rate, I can set it to 60 frames. That's good. So that it can remain consistent throughout the video. And this is nice. I can set a fixed bit rate. I usually set around 20 Mbps, which is 20,000 Kbps. Quality 100. Oh, I noticed that the bit rate and quality are exclusive. So either you can set a bit rate or you can set quality. Bruh. I'm not sure why, but okay, I'll set the bit rate there. The audio here is nothing fancy. I don't have any major sound effects. I'll just leave mostly on default. The small file size may be useful though, but here I'll just click OK. Thread count, maybe we can use, um, let's see, I have an octa-core CPU, so we could use 16 threads. I assume that's what it means. It means CPU threads. Uh, anyway, so it'll be 7 MB only. Cool. I'll monitor how much resources it uses. It'll probably just be a couple of seconds though. Let's hit export. Oh, right. So it prompts you that you need to buy the premium version if you don't want any watermarks. That's a common practice with many video editors, right? You will have a watermark on the free version, but it's good enough to try everything, right? At least you will get the hang of it and you can decide whether this is for you or not. So here it is. See, you can get the premium version and export this without the watermark and it'll look exactly as you want. I also noticed it has a record feature there and when I clicked on it, it gives you a screen record option. Of course, the camera failed to start because I have disabled the camera hardware on my PC. But if you enable that, I assume it starts a webcam feed too. That's nice. You can easily record your screen with a selected window there. So I'm just going to click on record. Okay, it gives me a countdown and uh, there you go. You can see a highlight. It's recording it. Let me just stop it there just to test it out. Oh, it automatically adds that to your uh, footage there. So 
you can import it on your timeline you can match the media there you go you can start editing immediately that's really nice again man i wish premiere pro and stuff had these features do you know how many times i have to record some extra screen because i'm missing b-roll when i'm editing my videos features like this will be a massive time saver i wish this was more common you can add a bunch of title cards and stuff that's cool but what impressed me is that you can edit all the elements of these cards too let me show you what i mean i'll just add a title card there and if i click on this edit option on the top right side you can see i can edit everything there i can change the video i can change the way the text appears i can even adjust the color saturation and everything of the video elements to make it exactly the way i want if i'm doing this in adobe suite i'll need a separate tool called after effects so i can't do this in premiere pro easily i'm beginning to think that even though this is fairly a uh, entry level tool you can do some advanced things here it has a lot of cool transitions built into it too now i'm going to test that detecting silence feature with a larger clip here's a large a roll video which is almost 26 minutes it's like a 6 gigabyte file let's see how well this works i'm going to right click on there and say silence detection let's see what happens I'll wait a few seconds. Okay, the tool is kind of struggling a bit because this is a heavy file. And uh, at first I thought it may have been my PC, but no, not really. Okay, it's taking some time. Let's wait for it. It does use a fair bit of resources. So I think this can be optimized a bit more because it does hang from time to time, which I haven't really noticed in other tools as much. But hey, even the best tools crash every now and then. So I guess it's a Windows 11 curse maybe. But look, it did work. This is what I mean. It did all the work that I would have done to remove the blank spaces. Although playing back, I can hear that it's ending a bit too soon. So that would be my feedback. If you can adjust this silence detection to kind of be a little more relaxed so that it can adjust the ending of a clip a bit better because right now it's cutting a bit too soon. But hey, I'm already impressed. Like it's a 26 minute clip which you have easily cut. And with any tool, there's always room for improvement. If this becomes a little more stable and the silence cutting is optimized a bit, it'll be a massive upgrade for editors. It'll save them so much time in the first pass. And right now you can use this discount code on your screen to get 30% off on it. And you will get all of this without the watermark for a super low price of $69 for a lifetime plan. Do you have any idea how expensive these other tools are? You can try it for free anyways, right? So go ahead. I'll leave a link in the description. Take a look and see if it works for you.